Hello everyone, in this video we are going to talk about uh, IXLK13, writing compound inequalities. Uh, many of you have been introduced to this topic in the middle school, so let's get started. What compound inequality describes this graph? So we're going to pick either one of them. So what I have in here, we are going to take this case by case. Uh, the highlighted parts are where my variable goes. Okay, this is the x. And x is on the left side of negative 3, right? So x is, and then on the other side I have negative 3, and then everything to the left side of negative 3 is highlighted. But, as you see, there is a difference between this point over here and that point. That tells us what kind of sign we need to use. If it is a filled circle like this, it indicates the our sign is going to be either greater than or equal or less than or equal. If we have that kind of a circle, it means our sign is going to be either greater than or less than. No equal because this means that point is included, which is why we have those equal kind of things. That means the number is not included. That's a comma by the way. It doesn't it's not equal. Let's just make sure that it is okay. Now what about the sign? It's either going to be greater than or less than. But when we say greater or less than, we are reading from left to right. Remember that. If I put this sign, it'll read as x is greater than negative 3. Look at all these numbers that we highlighted. The numbers are like negative 4, negative 5, negative 6, negative 20, negative 50, all those negative numbers on the left side. If we are going towards the left, that means we are dealing with smaller numbers than the one on the right side. So I'm dealing with smaller numbers. All the x numbers are less than negative 3. It's not greater than. So all of the x numbers are less than negative 3. I don't put equal sign because it's an empty circle. Over here on the right side I have whew, 0 and then all my numbers are on the right side of that 0. What about the sign between them? I definitely need one of the equals. It's either greater than or equal or less than or equal. So 0 is my starting point and all my other numbers are 1, 2, 3, 4, 100, 200. They're all greater than 0. So if these numbers are greater than 0, I need that symbol. Because the opening of my symbol lo looks at uh, x. That means x is greater. Wherever the opening looks at negative 3, that means negative 3 is greater, the other numbers are smaller. This means 0 is smaller, x is greater, all the other numbers. But then there is this equal sign as well. So this is what I'm looking for. Either x is smaller than negative 3 or 0 is greater than or equal to x. Now let's check that one out. x is less than negative 3 the other need the other sign should be greater than or equal there's no equal so it's either one of these two right the one with the negative 3 does not have an equal sign so this is wrong as well the only right answer is here but what about this right here it says x is greater than or equal to 0 my answer is this 0 is less than or equal to x they are exactly the same thing you can flip them around and then make it look like this right here 0 was on the left side, you can put it on the right side, you can put the x on the left side, and then switch the sign. It's the same thing. You can either say John is shorter than Mark, or you can say Mark is taller than John. So that's what it is. So let's move on to the next level. Please take notes of, of what you're seeing right now, because probably you're going to need this with the IXL. Let's move on to the next level. What compound inequality describes this graph? Write a compound inequality like this or like these two. So I have two separate things. My answer should probably look like this right here because they don't meet at a point. It's like they're kind of different. If you see a space in between your highlighted areas, probably your answer is going to look like this. Now. These are my x's, those are my x's. I have 6 
on the right side and my numbers are on the left side right and then I have 8 on the left side I'll put this or in between them and then all my numbers are on the right side now let's figure the signs out filled circle it's either it'll have an equal sign okay the numbers are getting smaller look at the numbers 6 5 4 3 2 negative 10 negative 20 negative 30 they're getting smaller so the numbers on the left are my x's and these are smaller if those are smaller that means the 6 is greater right if 6 is greater the opening is gonna look towards the 6 and then it's a filled circle I need that right there now they match this right here and that right there these two match now I need something that looks like x is greater than 5 x is less than or equal to another number that sort of a thing so 8 and x it's an empty circle I do not need an equal sign underneath my sign look at all my x numbers they're getting bigger after 8 I have 9 10 20 30 50 100 200 so those numbers are bigger so if those numbers are bigger the opening is gonna look towards the X and then no equal sign but 8 is less than X does not look like X is greater than 3 I need to switch them around and then make it look like X and 8 flip the sign so that's my second I need that statement and then X is less than or equal to 6 that would be my answer this right here okay moving on to the next level what compound inequality describes this graph excuse me <coughs> <coughs> okay now my numbers are the points either filled or empty circles are 2 and 3 and then everything towards the left side of 2 are my numbers and everything towards the right side of 3 are also my numbers so my numbers are the x's fill circle fill circle I need that equal sign underneath my symbol I'm talking about numbers that are smaller than 2 over here uh, 1 0 negative 10 negative 20 so if those numbers on the left are smaller that means 2 is greater if 2 is greater the opening is gonna look towards that number and then I need that equal sign underneath and then X is going to be greater than 3 so all these numbers are greater X is greater opening looks towards that way and equal so you can either write it this way or if your x is less than one number greater than another number you can also do this put the x in the middle because it's smaller than something greater than another you can also apply the same thing to the other question that I just did uh, the sign x is less than let me see x is less than 2 greater than 3 uh, do I want to do it like that okay no we, that doesn't make sense if we combine them all together so yeah that would be our final answer for this question because if I combine them it's not going to make sense let me explain why x is less than or equal to 2 right x is less than or equal to 2 and then this says x is greater than or equal to 3 x is greater than or equal to 3 when you put these together with the word or it means it's either this one or that one not both of them at the same time but when you combine them in one inequality what numbers are greater than 3 and not or less than 2 there's no such number so this would be an empty set but we are not dealing with an empty set we have our set we have everything here we see the numbers that we are dealing with so this would be wrong that's the only right answer I thought I could have combined them but no it wouldn't work okay let's move on to the next level write a compound inequality like either the first one or the second one I feel like this is going to be look like that one it should look like that one because we don't have like separate highlighted areas where there's a space in between what compound inequality describes this my numbers are negative 48 and then 
negative 42. I am dealing with, by the way, I do not need an equal sign because these are empty circles. No equals. Look at all these numbers. If your reference point is negative 48, we are talking about the numbers that are on the right side of 48, negative 48, right? If they're on the right side, they are bigger. The numbers on the right side of negative 48 are bigger, so these numbers over here are going to be bigger. That's why the opening of the sign looks towards the right. And all those numbers are called x. And then let's deal with negative 42. If you look at that point, from that point, we need to go towards left, right? And then the numbers on the left side of negative 42 are my numbers. Those are my x's. I'm going towards the left from negative 42. That means I'm getting smaller. The numbers are getting smaller, which means negative 42 is greater. If negative 42 is greater, the opening uh, side of my sign is going to look towards that way. So this would be my answer. I do not need any equal signs because the circles are empty circles. Let's do one more, probably. Here's the last question. Okay, this is going to look like the first one because we only have one piece. It's not like two separate pieces where there's a space in between. So my signs are going to be like this. Put the x in the middle, put your numbers on the left and on the right, and then figure out your equal signs. There is an equal in here because it's a filled circle. No equal. Keep it that way. This is our final answer for that one. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in another video, guys.